Chair routine. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, darling. Your quality is supposed to be really bad today. Good. You know, I don't know this. This is from the airport. I have an announcement before we start. What? Happy birthday, Eileen. <laughs> It's tomorrow, but that's, that's all right. Like, it's okay. I don't even know what day it is. It said he brought me flowers yesterday because he had to go out. So. Oh, nice. I mean, it's, it's an ongoing month thing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, happy Thank you. Happy ones. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Good reason for me to go bother the kitchen for cake.
So we're going to do things a little bit differently today. I got one of my Kundalini expert friends, and I know a lot of times it's just in time they get a free exercise can feel a little long for probably most of us. <laughs> um, so as opposed to trying to do the full time and taking lots of breaks and not, not getting um, the full benefit by staying in continuous motion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the time down. We'll actually go through the whole thing twice, um, but we'll do less time this time. And my, my big instruction for you is however long you think you can go, to push just a little bit beyond. So if you think that you can do a minute, push and do a minute and 10 seconds, but not, not beyond. So we don't want to wear ourselves out doing it, um, but we want to kind of push our boundaries just, just a little bit, because um, we're really trying to stimulate awareness and stimulate energy in the body. So our first one, we're going to start kneeling. Um, once we get into this, you guys say, oh yeah, I remember this. So you can use a block or a blanket if you need. If you have knees like mine and you can't sit all the way back on your heels, you put a block on the heels. Blanket under the knees. And I'll use a timer this time so you guys aren't like, you said a minute, this feels longer. I know mine for a clock, not that good. <laughs> you want a blanket? No. You know how far I go, yes. I can use it. So. Thank you. Okay. I'm having out. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, that's good. That works. I, oh, there you go. Too much pose. Too much warrior pose. Oh, me? But I can't. I can't. Yes. That's okay. I get cramped. That's okay. I know better. I hear you. Oh, me too. You can't. You can bring your feet just in a little bit. You don't have to sit your butt down any further, but that way your knees and your ankles are aligned. It's going to be, yeah. Uh -huh. Nope. Okay. I'm not going to be good at knees, so just ignore me. <laughs> okay. Can you bring your knees closer together? No. And that's going to actually be better for your joints. There you go. It's just folding with me that far. So another thing you can do, you take your blanket and roll it, get a nice roll, you put that behind the knees, and that's going to create space in the knee. Oh, okay. It's actually going to support your knees better. All right. You carry on. Let me do it. I'll do it. I have more blankets. You don't need to pull that one out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. I had major knee surgery about 15 years ago, so I understand the constraints of the bad knees. All right, so for this one, don't have to don't have to start yet. We're gonna have arms up overhead, palms pressing together. And we're going to do our breath and fire, or what we call navel pumping. So you're going to take quick outbursts of breath through the nose when you squeeze your navel in, and just going to let that navel pump in and out for the breath. So you guys probably hear me better if I take my mask on for a second. It's a little bit. Anybody have any questions? Okay, so we're just going to do, let's say, a minute and 15 seconds. So, get ready, bring arms up overhead, and begin. Keep going. If you think that you're going to get to a place, 
If you think, you think you can't go much longer, just go for another 10 seconds. And then you can run. Key here is keeping going and pushing until you get to your limit. And then just go barely beyond it. Last 30 seconds. Five more seconds for those still going. And last exhale, bring hands to heart center. And then you can rest the hands on the thighs, close the eyes, and just feel the energy in the body. Finding stillness. Those of you have water, if you guys need to take water in between each exercise, you can do that as well. So eventually for that one, I actually have copies of all these sheets. I'll give them to you guys when you leave. So if you want to do this at home to help strengthen the immune system, you can on your own. Um, eventually you work out in three minutes for that one. Now we're going to stay sitting on the heels for this next one. We're only going to do a minute of this next one. Exercise in our Kriya. So for this one, we're going to come into a version of our child's pose. Just watch first. You'll be able to see me if you get there first. <laughs> we're going to interlace the hands behind the head. And we're going to lift up. And then we're going to lower down, moving mindfully, slowly, the whole way through. Coming up and down. We're going to do this one just for a minute. If you guys want to get down into your child's pose to start, I'll let you know when I start the timer. Interlacing hands behind the head. And when you lift up, you're pressing your head into the hand, pressing against the hand. All right, go ahead and begin. Moving mindfully the whole way through, not rushing it. Engaging the cord. Already 15 seconds in. Slow, continuous movement. Way down. Last ten seconds. Take one more full round, and then we'll meet sitting up and kneeling. And from there, you can release the hands to the thighs, gently close the eyes, and just take a moment here to feel the energy in the body. These kriyas are designed to help increase our internal awareness to wake up our nervous system. For each exercise, you just take this moment and feel what's changed, feel what's opened up. And you'll be happy to know. Yes. Doing our last exercise. Yeah. For this one, we're going to take a bare grip of the chest. So, 
Actually, I got a mirror so you guys can see. Right hand thumb is up, yeah. left hand thumb is down. Interlace the fingers together and then hook those thumbs in. And so what we're doing here, we're going to do this for just a minute. You're going to take a full breath in. You're going to hold the breath and as you do, you're going to pull the arms as firmly as you can apart. Okay, so you can't hold the breath any longer. Then you'll relax the grip, breathe out. Take a big breath in. And while you're holding the breath, try to pull the arms apart. Holding as long as you can. When you let the breath out, relax the grip. And that's it. So we're going to do that one there. I'm going to say a minute and 15 seconds. Remember, if you don't think you can go that long, just go 10 seconds past where you think you can go. We're just kind of pushing our limits. We're not trying to break ourselves, OK? Everybody ready? All right, begin. Last 15 seconds. Finish your last round. And when you exhale, release the hands to the thighs, close your eyes and just feel the energy in the body. Taking this moment to tune in. And we're ready now to make our way to a seated position. There you go, Karen. You already know, you already know where we're going. Thank you. I was just going. You already know where we're going. Thank you. So we'll have legs stretched out in front. It's just, it stretches it so much. It's just so All right, so we're going to do a forward fold for this next one. To help us set up, though, we'll bring our hands down by our side, fingers pacing forward, press down through the hands, roll the shoulders down and back, lengthen through the crown of the head, long spine. Put some weight out of the hands. And then we're going to walk the hand forward, framing the legs, keeping the spine straight as long as you can, leaving with the heart. And then you can take a few halfway lifts here to help you yourself get deeper. So lifting up halfway, straightening the spine again, once it wants to round. Then exhaling the fold again. If you can, ideally here, you would take your first two fingers, the inside of the big toe and hook the big toe. And use that to help pull yourself down. Once you've done a few halfway lifts, you've kind of reached an edge that you like. Go ahead and let the head hang heavy. We're going to be here for a minute and a half. Slow, steady breaths. Breathing normally.
For those grabbing the big toe too, you'll take your thumb and press into the nail of the big toe. Fingers are hooked around, thumb presses into the nail. Oh, that's a toe. It's about halfway through. Last 10 seconds. And when you're ready to come out, you can release your toes and roll up one vertebra at a time so the head comes up last. And then closing the eyes. And again, taking a moment to notice the energy in the body. Noticing where your attention goes. Noticing what's changed. All right, then we'll come to an easy seated posture. <coughs> we're just going to do some neck rolls. So we're going to start going clockwise. You guys want to watch me first. We're going to drop chin to chest. One roll right here towards the right shoulder. Clockwise for you guys. And we'll just roll the head around nice and easy. Shoulders stay relaxed. We'll do this for a minute in each direction. So starting with clockwise, go ahead and begin your roll now. Taking one more round going clockwise, then changing direction. One more full circle, then resting the chin on the chest, then bringing the head back to a neutral spine. Taking a moment here to close your eyes and again, feel the energy. Notice what's there.
And when you're ready, make your way to hands and knees, tabletop. We're going to do one that's familiar to everybody. We're going to do about a minute and a half of cat and cat. I'll wait until everybody's in position, and I'll start our timer. All right, we good. One more full round. You can come back to neutral tabletop, close the eyes. This again, take a moment to feel the energy in the body. And when you're ready, we'll make our way back to an easy seated position. One more roll on each side and finding stillness. Taking a moment again to feel the energy in the body. And then we're going to make our way to our backs for a mini Shavasana. Kind of time down there, and everything. We're going to cut this time down on this one to uh, a 
two and a half, three and a half. See how relaxed you can get in this little mini shavasana. Taking your time, mindfully ease your way into the tabletop. This time, though, chuck, tuck your chin into your chest and roll the arm, armpits in towards each other. And then take a couple baby steps in so you can get the feet flat on the ground. You're already 30 seconds in. You guys are doing great.
over halfway down. And 30 seconds to go. Take one more full round of breath. Then bend the knees, lower the knees to the mat, and push back into a child's pose. Taking just a moment here to again tune in, feel the energy in the body. for a minute. We're going to do what we call the elephant walk. To help us get there, just watch first. We'll do just like we normally would coming into a forward fold. You're going to grab the fronts of your ankles. You're going to bend the knees. And we're going to walk around like this for a minute. Walking wherever your feet want to take you. We call the elephant walk. So to help us get there, Inhale your arms up just a minute of this. Exhale, forward fold, grab the fronts of the ankles and begin to start walking around. Short set. <laughs> Stimulates the digestive system. As you can imagine, it helps stimulate elimination. <laughs> This is where we really get our friends to question what we're doing in yoga. <laughs> All right, we've wandered far. We're in our last 15 seconds. Start walking back towards your back. And the minutes up. Coming back, walk all the way back to the top of your mat. Come into your forward fold. We'll take an inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale to fold again, and then root your eyes, sweeping all the way up to standing, palms to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes. And again, feel the energy in the body. Just added plus five to our disease resistance. All right. COVID's got nothing on us. We only have 995 to go. <laughs> <laughs> There's the half empty blast for all. <laughs> there it is, yeah. All right, you guys ready to do it all again? No! Do what? Bell stop? No, the whole, the whole thing. thing. Oh, the whole thing. So I, cut, I cut our time down in the third. Normally, all those exercises we would do for three minutes. Some of them would be five to seven minutes. <coughs> so, so if I can break it up and do it twice, we get plus 10 to our disease resistance. You can chop the first of all the knee stuff off on mine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to do it. This time, though, we're not going to take breaks in between. Well, you won't take as long as breaks in between. So we'll come back to our knees. 
And we're only going to do one minute for each one. I want to make sure we have time to get it all in. Making our way back to our knees. All right. One minute, first exercise, arms are up overhead. We're pumping the stomach. And begin. Push for 10 more seconds, then go ahead and stop. So the next one we're doing is our bear grip. Right thumb is up, left thumb is down, interlacing the fingers. We'll take a big inhale. Hold the breath and pull. Exhale, release the tension. One minute, go. Last round, then on your exhale, you'll release hands to thighs and you'll take three deep breaths. one on the knee. We're going to come into our child pose, forehead on the mat. Interlacing hands behind the head. We're going to raise up and bow down. Kneeling bend. One minute. Begin. Exhaling as you go down. One more full round. And we'll meet back it upright. And I know you're dying to do it. 
come down onto our butts, and we'll take our three deep breaths there. stretched out in front. We'll lengthen through the spine. This is going to be our forward pull, leading with the heart. We'll pull forward if you can, taking that toe lock. First two fingers wrap the toe, thumb presses into the thumbnail, letting the head hang heavy. One minute here. Breathing normally. And you can release the toes on an inhale. You'll roll up one vertebra at a time so the head comes up last. And we're ready for our neck rolls. Easy seated position. We'll do one minute in each direction. You'll drop your chin to chest and then roll the head in circles going clockwise to start. One minute beginning now. Nice and easy. Taking one more full round, then change direction. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. One more full round, then bringing chin to chest, lift the head up to neutral, and we'll make our way to tabletop for one minute of cat and cat. See, we're just breathing through this second set. My body looks a little better too. Um, yeah, now everything's awake and open. All right. Tabletop, one minute, beginning now, cat and cat.
One more full round. And then make your way back to seated. And from our ABC, we'll do again one minute of our alternating shoulder shrugs. Again, I encourage you to stand and close your eyes. Keep the experience of sensational one. One more round on each side and ease your way into Shavasana. All right. And our mini Shavasana begins now. See how relaxed you can become in just these short minutes. Mindfully make your way to your downward dog. Oh, I thought we would have skipped it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if I can do better. And shoulder width apart. Something that can help. If you have that wrist, you can come to fist instead. Another thing that helps with balance and grip is spreading the fingers wide. Tuck those toes under, press back. And then you got to take a couple baby steps forward. We want our feet and hands both flat in this version of our down dog. Chin tucked into chest, armpits roll open towards each other. Two minutes.
less than a minute to go. Hang tough. And taking baby steps forward, we're going to walk forward to the top of our mat, into that forward fold. We're going straight into our elephant walk. Last minute, last thing we're doing, grabbing the fronts of the ankle, then start walking around. What does this do for us? Again? <laughs> exactly. That digestion. It makes us To the top of your mat. No, don't do that. <laughs> you can let go of the ankles, take an inhale, come up, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then root your right, then he'll sweep the arms all the way up overhead, palms to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. You did it. Today you got plus 10 to your disease resistance. Close our practice with the sacred sound of the Om. Inhale to Om. So depending on how long you do each exercise, it can take 20 to 40 minutes. And it tells you how it helps the body. It's a little funky with the pictures, so some pages the, the instructions might be on one side and the pictures are on the next side. But I know you guys are smart. Yeah. Okay. And spread the description in a photo of all of this. Oh, yeah. Did you 
You know what's a good thing to use? Right by your sit bone? Yeah. Oh, it says that the uh, elephant walk also adjusts the magnetic field to prepare you for meditation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.